Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add toggle functionality to your buttons in Flash CS4. So, uh, my example today is going to be a web application. Um, I'm sure you've seen them in JavaScript where they have them on the side of their website and there's a button here. It'll be in the corner. And it opens and they have some content, maybe a feed of some sort. Um, so that's going to be my example. I'm not going to have the feed or, ever, or anything, but I'm going to show you how to do the toggle functionality. So to start off, we're going to need three layers. We're going to need an action script layer. We're going to need a window layer, the window that's going to open. And we're also going to need a button layer. So to start off, we're going to use the button layer. Grab your rectangle tool. And let's just make a bluish colored button. And we don't need a stroke. And we're just going to put this in the corner here. And that looks pretty good for our button. Except we need to reposition it here on the side. All right, let's uh, add some text and make the text visible. Uh, 30 is going to be too much. Let's put it at like 23 maybe. Let's just say information. And we're going to rotate this. We're going to need our transform tool here. Rotate it around and then just position it on your button. If you have locking on, you can just nudge it with your arrow keys or you can posi position it with your align uh, palette, but arrow keys work fine. Um, so now we're going to select this entire thing. We're going to hit F8, convert it to a button, and we're going to say toggle underscore BTN OK, and we're going to give it an instance name with the same thing toggle underscore BTN. All right, now we need to create our window. So click on the first frame of your window layer and grab your rectangle tool. Let's make it a, how about we make it a light colored window. We're gonna just drag out from the top of our button here down to the bottom of our document. It's okay if it goes over a little bit, you just wanna make sure that, um, actually let's make it a little bit uh, darker because it's kinda hard to see for you guys. All right, so now I have my window here. This is going to be a thing that opens and closes. So click on it, hit F8, and we're going to create a movie clip so we can add an animation to it. And we're going to call this toggle window. And make sure you give this an instance name of the same thing. Toggle window. All right, there we go. So let's double click on this to get inside of this to add our animation and everything. We're going to need three layers again. Uh, one's going to be animation. One is going to be action script. And one is going to be the content that's going to be in the window. All right. So let's go to our animation layer first. And since uh, Flash CS4 has uh, 24 frames as a second and we want this to open fairly quickly. I'm going to put it at 12 frames for uh, that's where our content's going to be so it's going to open in a half a second so it's going to be pretty quick um, but also pretty smooth. So I'm going to right click copy this frame put it at 12 seconds paste it and then click in the middle and do classic tween since we don't need any of the uh, we don't want uh, I forgot what the other tween is, but we don't need that because we don't need any of the fancy CS4 stuff. We're just doing basics. Um, so anyway, we're going to click on the first frame, click on our transform tool here, and we're going to drag this registration point to the corner. And then we're going to drag this up here so that it's pretty much not visible. But you're still going to see this gray part here. So what we're going to do is go to color effect if you're not already clicked on it. Uh, then click on it and go to color effect and go to alpha and then make sure the alpha is put to zero so it's all the way to the left. So now we need to make sure that this registration point on this middle piece or this middle uh, part of it needs to be in the left too or else it won't uh, it won't move correctly but as you can see here since I moved that it is now opening nicely. So we're going to uh, copy this frame and paste this one at 24 and then kind of do the reverse here. We're going to create our classic tween, click on this, size this down, and then we're going to put the alpha at zero. So now you can see we have open, yay, close, yay. 
So now we're going to add our action script. And actually, let's add our content. Let's drag our content to frame 12. And then we'll add some text here, put this at like 30. And we'll say content goes here. And let's make this visible. It's only like black or something. All right, so there's our fake content. So let's add our action script for this alone. We want it to stop when it gets to this so that uh, our other action script can tell it what to do. So we're gonna put stop, open, close, parenthesis, and then a semicolon. And then we're gonna go back to that and we're going to add a keyframe out here on 12. And we want it to also stop there um, so that it can we can view our content and Otherwise, it's going to be closing. So it's either going to be opening or closing, and as long as no one's clicking it, it's going to be right here in the middle, and our content's going to be open. So we need on that middle um, that middle layer, we need uh, the same stop action. So stop, open, close, parenthesis, semicolon. So now we're ready to start coding the actual functionality, opening, closing. We have the animation. We just need to make it go. So go back to scene one. And we're going to click on the action script layer here, first frame, click actions. And we're going to start typing our stuff out. So we're going to say toggle underscore btn dot add event to listener. And then open mouse. I don't know, I have two, two parentheses there. Mouse and then event. Those are both capitalized mouse and event. And then click in all caps. And then a comma. And we're going to call our function toggle content and we're going to close parenthesis close semicolon and enter a couple times and we're going to write that function so function and then toggle content and then we're going to say open parenthesis event and then it's a mouse event And then we want to close parenthesis, open semi or open uh, curly bracket, hit enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key, and then we're going to write an if statement. So if the toggle window, which is our little animated uh, frame there, or animated uh, frames that we created, so if we're going to say if toggle window, and then if the current frame of that, I'm going to capital F for frame. And then space equal equal one. So if the current frame is one, uh, you have to have two equals in order for it to mean equals. It's uh, just a little action script uh, thing you got to do. Um, so if the current frame is equal to one, then we want to have an open curly bracket. And then we're going to have a closed. Actually, let's just write our function here. I don't know why that's there. Open curly bracket. And then our toggle window is going to go to and play two. So go to and play, and then open, close parenthesis, uh, and then a two in the middle of those. So we're gonna hit semicolon, and then we're going to close this off with a, uh, with a curly bracket. So basically what this says is if the current frame is one, then it's on uh, that frame that says to stop. So it's going to be closed. It's going to be where it is right now. And if we click it, we want it to open to the uh, second frame, which will play the animation. And then it's going to stop when it gets to the 12th frame. So we need an else statement. So we're going to hit enter right here and else and then open curly bracket, hit enter. And then we're going to say the toggle window is going to go to and play. And then open parenthesis, 12, close parenthesis, semicolon. So if it's not on the first frame, then it's going to be on the 12th frame. And it's going to go to this 12th frame, and it's going to play it. So instead of stopping, it's going to uh, play the closing animation. So this is pretty much either going to open it or close it. And the stop action within our toggle window animation is going to stop it on the content. So if we do control test movie, it should be working properly, except that something is wrong. Let's see what 
we roll over this right bracket before the end of the program, so I missed a bracket somewhere. Um, let's see where that's at. Oh, all my else needs a closing bracket, so let's put that in. Closing curly bracket there. Control test movie, and it should be fine. There we go, you can see it toggles nicely. Our content comes in, you can fade that or make this nicer in any way you want. Uh, but this gives you the functionality to do this. Uh, so I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Uh, if you want any of the project files from this uh, project, you can get those on my website at rivercitygraphics.com. And I will see you next week. Thanks.